All right, everybody. First thing we're going to do today is draw three mid segments on our triangles. We talked about mid segments already. Mid segment goes from the midpoint of one side of a triangle to the midpoint of a second side of a triangle. And we're going to use our compass to figure that out. So the best way to do that with our compass is to draw a perpendicular bisector. So if you remember perpendicular bisector compass work, uh, basically what we call the football. I'm going to start on this bottom segment here. So we want to make sure our compass is open more than half. So compass is open. It looks like it's about half, so let's go a little wider. Might be a little bit too wide. All right, so right about here, we're going to hold our compass with one hand down here by the pivot point. Pivot point on, point on the edge. Tilt and drag. Hopefully you can see that pencil mark. Go to the other side. Tilt and drag. We're going to line up our pencil with this point and this point down here. Now we don't need to draw the whole perpendicular bisector though because all, remember all we're looking for is the midpoint so all we're going to do is put a little mark right here and this point right there is our midpoint. We're going to repeat this process for the other two sides of our triangle. So I'm going to come over to this side. My compass is way too big right now. We're going to narrow that down quite a ways. So a little bit more than half. Once again, tilt, drag. You can turn your paper around if you need to or whatever. Tilt and drag. Now don't get too confused when you have multiple points of intersection going on here. So we definitely want that point of intersection right there. Not those two. Those are from the other arc. From here, line it up with this. Again, we don't need to draw the whole perpendicular bisector because all we're looking for is a midpoint. So I'm just going to draw a nice mark right there. The point. All right, we have two of our midpoints. Still have not done this third side here. I'll get my compass out one more time. That's definitely not more than half. Widen it up. That looks like it's more than half. Now this gets a little confusing again because I already have some arcs. I'm just going to make sure I don't use the wrong arcs. So Compass. We really don't like to use our hand on the second part, but it's going to make it a little bit darker, which might help you guys see this a little bit better. Okay. And here. Okay, again, this, pretty, this one's pretty obvious. Down here, if you need to, just follow the two arcs until they meet again. So we're going to use this one, not this one out here. Use this point of intersection. Line it up with this. Just make a little mark. Don't need to draw the whole thing. Point of intersection. We have our three points of intersection. I'm going to go ahead and get a, a darker writing utensil out. We're going to connect those three points of intersection to draw all three mid segments. So there's number one. Remember that this mid segment is parallel to this side and is half of its length. Looks pretty parallel so we look like we're doing pretty good. Now we're going to connect these two. Again that looks pretty parallel to that so that tells me I'm probably doing things right. And then finally third one now remember we talked about how all four triangles should look like they're congruent to each other and they're all similar to the original big triangle. Looks pretty good. So there's our compass work for mid segments. So again repeating what we did, pick a side, do your perpendicular bisector compass work which looks like a football but instead of connecting the whole thing just draw a little mark for your midpoint. Repeat on a second side. Here's our football here. A little mark for our midpoint. And we did our third side over here. Mark, we connected the three marks to each other. Now when you connect the three marks to each other, my, the end of my mark was way out here. We don't want that. We don't want to line that up with our ruler. We want to make sure we're actually lining up the midpoint, not the end of our mark. Okay, just the midpoint itself. Same thing over here. We don't want to line up the end of the mark here, or necessarily here, even though it did go through that. But we want to line it up with our midpoint, and so on.
you need to practice this at least once on your own with some triangle, drawing all three mid segments, making sure you get four congruent triangles in the middle.